Do you feel like a break from back squats or want something different to lying leg curls for hammies? The ATX Legmaster is ideal for small gyms or personal trainers as it offers two quality exercises in one relatively uh, compact footprint considering um, how large some leg machines can get. For home users, leg training variety can be pretty scarce. Quality leg presses are very expensive these days. So this quirky little machine might be just the ticket for someone who's looking to break up squats. Now a bit of background on this machine. Bodybuilders from the old school will recognize the harness from the Frank Zane leg blaster. Old bodybuilders will recognize it from Moore's squat bar. So although this might look something new, it has actually been around for, for decades. Even the way you can perform some of the variations on this exercise is old school. While most people will just perform the traditional squat, some will see, if you get on the internet and do your own research, you'll see them leaning back, doing it in sissy squat format. Another way is you lean back and you perform it like a, a hack squat. So it is a really unique machine. The machine and exercises all aim to reduce the load and stress on the lower back and the knees. When you're doing a traditional squat movement, the, the weight loading will feel similar to that of say a, a, a barbell front squat, but you don't have the hassle or the, ink, the discomfort of holding the bar whichever way. Plus, it's got handles, so you can keep your uh, body upright and that'll allow you to drop uh, ass to grasp. Uh, uh, it's much easier to get lower in this machine than it is with a barbell front squat for most people. The original Frank Zane version was popular amongst the old school bodybuilding enthusiasts, but if you jump online, you'll see that there's um, a handful of strength and conditioning trainers that, that have multiple um, ones in their gyms and you know with the different variety of exercises, they feel that that's a really good way to work certain muscle groups. If Frank Zane in his peak was around today, his physique would still be highly regarded. But somehow like people think that the way these guys got their physiques were outdated and you know, I'm sure there's medical research and, and scientific studies that show that there's more efficient and effective ways, better machines. But regardless, these guys built some timeless physiques using these old school methods. Depending on your beliefs, dedicating a whole machine just to this one quirky exercise may, may seem a little bit a little bit of overkill to ease the pain ADX decided to build in another exercise on this machine and in my opinion it actually overshadows the the, the main focus the standing car phrase on this machine is brilliant as good as anything you'll find in a commercial high-end machine, but you won't need a lot of weight on this machine. And the exercise is best performed in around the, the 15 rep range. It is a really easy exercise to show in, in inexperienced lifters and get them going with correct form. And that's what makes it even better in that inexperienced lifters often need a lot of work on their hamstrings. Now onto the build of this machine, I might point out that this machine itself is, is old, very old. It's actually the old Barbarian version and it's still kicking around. Now it hasn't changed in the ATX version, that's why we haven't changed it. But also too, I like to leave some old machines on display it's no use saying to everyone or oh, how good the quality is, you know, without actually seeing it and proving it. Well, we've got some machines in here that are pretty old and the, the old um, Legmaster is one of them. Now, the harness would be probably considered the centerpiece of this machine if you buy identification. But I also think it's like the centerpiece as far as what the build quality is like and the harness is just made out of this super thick plate steel um, where it docks it's even thicker the thing's bulletproof the actual harness itself weighs 18 kilos now no matter what the machine when you are squatting with weight on your shoulders you are going to have weight on your shoulders personal trainers will know that some people can object to any form of discomfort but to ease the pain they have um, put in contoured padding. It's secured in place with some bolts. Plus it's got a, an extra pad for, for the sternum area. As the load's distributed over a larger area than what a barbell would be on your back, it is a lot more comfortable, but if you've got whinges, they're gonna whinge. Uh, moving down, 
The machine's got two start-stop positions. A smaller user and a, a bigger user can both start and stop. Now it's important to highlight that it doesn't have a spotting mechanism, but when you're doing the squat, you've got hold of the handles. The handles are there for balance. You don't pull yourself up, that's cheating. But if you're in, a, in the bottom of a rep or you know, you're struggling to compete a rep, you can pull yourself up, so it is it is safe. Moving on to the standing car phrase, it's a lever arm design that's plate loaded. Now both arms with bearings, there's a linkage on there with ball joints that they can be greased as well. So it's super smooth, super direct. Now you can you can see by the angles of the lever arms that they've put a lot of effort into the design to get it onto that perfect resistance curve and the combination of the correct arc and the bearing driven, um, uh, all, the, all the movement points are, have got bearings, it makes it super smooth and direct. Um, now, when you're doing the standing calf raise, you rest your upper leg on the, on the pads, um, pads for the rollers. When you're standing, you've got custom rubberized foot plates. Now, on the foot plate for squats, it's huge but it also features these laser cut lines. That's so you know where your feet are positioned and you can get yourself correctly aligned. In summary, this machine is not for everyone, but if you have a look at standing calf raises, you'll be lucky to find one under $1,500. So this standing leg curl exercise on this machine is worth the purchase price alone. For the squat, women and men who chest feed may find the harness uncomfortable. However, someone who's a heavy barbell squatter, this exercise is a great way to work your quads while giving the back and the knees a bit of a rest. Adding a quality squat option to a top tier hamstring exercise is the best way to judge the value of this machine. For gyms, there's no better person to ask than Matt. He runs at, at the gym in the UK and has had one on his gym floor for years. So I'm just gonna ask him some questions so you can hear from someone who's had experience. So Matt, how long have you had the machine in your gym? Hello, Sam and Linus. How long have we had it in the gym? Uh, we've always had one in the gym. We've been open six and a half years. The reason why I had to then look was to see whether I had a Barbarian Line badge on it or an ATX badge. So the only reason we've swapped it is because it used to be branded Barbarian and the squat bar was red. So uh, I think they changed to ATX maybe four years ago. So this one is about four years old. Uh, these are still the same pads. We haven't changed anything. What has been the most popular exercise? The squat or the standing leg curl? Frustratingly, although we call it a leg blaster, is it's the leg curl, which is why the squat bar is off at the moment. So everyone uses it for leg curls. I say frustratingly because I can think of two customers off the top of my head. Uh, so we've got Andy Mack, uh, No Weak Links, and Physique Gym, who bought this and discarded the squat bar because it was the best hamstring curl that they'd used. So it is a really nice motion. So the most popular exercise by a long shot is We've got seated hamstring curl, lying, lam uh, lying hamstring curl, and this standing hamstring curl. This one gets used more than any of them. What type of trainers squat using the leg blaster? Are they bodybuilders, powerlifters, average Joes? Uh, what type of users use the leg blaster? Well, before we started this video, Jack said, oh, it's good that you do the leg blaster because you use it all the time. Uh, so more your sort of classic bodybuilder, like old school bodybuilder like me. Um, I'm smirking because part of the reason we sell ATX is because they have the rights to the leg blaster in uh, Europe. And I'm my favorite bodybuilder of all time is Frank Zane, who makes and sells his version in America. Um, unfortunately not at the moment, but I'll come back to that one. Uh, so. I'm your perfect candidate to use it because I do do leg blasters. Long before I had this, I'll send you a photo, Sam, is Bob's gym, which was an old bus depot in Bristol. <laughs> Bob called them strapadictomies because you've clocked what that means now, strapadictomy. 
but he would always just roll it off the tongue or strap a dick to me because it tickled him that when people were training, then they'd always refer to it as strapodictomies and most didn't even realize what they were saying. But what it was, was um, uh, handles on the wall with a tricep bar with ropes on. So you couldn't go too heavy. He had blocks of lead plates that would go on this tricep bar and you would in effect perform a leg blaster. Should I put the bar on? You better demonstrate what it is. So I am your perfect candidate because I used to do leg blaster squats before we were even selling this leg blaster. Uh, there's two different heights. I slightly have to go on tiptoes for the higher one, so I'll go on the extremely low one. And a leg blaster squat really being where you go like this, so your knees don't go beyond your toes, if you can see that one. So it is very kind on your knees and your back. But more recently, because I'm returning to squats from an operation, is I'll do free squats still with this one. So then that way you can sort of change your stance as to how you see fit. Uh, who isn't it for? Well, as much as I try to convince women that it's not gonna hurt their boobs, and it doesn't. Uh, All right, uh, sorry about that. Uh, the phone cut out. Um, me, I was mentioning uh, people that don't use it and, and I suggested uh, Jack, so Jack being a strong man. So we will show how uh, it limits you. So most people it's going to fit, but I'm going to show you Jack quickly because he loves getting in on camera. Go on then, Jack. All right. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. So the larger individual, uh, like like Jack, so strongman Jack, wouldn't be able to fit into it. But yeah, uh, most other people can. Just unfortunately and frustratingly, they choose not to. They favour the leg curl. What do you like about the machine? Yeah, see, I love it for squat variations, and I got to admit that everyone liking the leg curl it is the most comfortable standing leg curl there is. What don't you like about the machine? I think, mm, there's not much I don't like. I am a fan of it. Uh, I referenced earlier though, um, that Frank Zane had a version in America. One of my peeves, given that he is my favorite bodybuilder of all time, is if we post any videos like what you're just about to do with this, if people say, oh, it's a copy of Frank Zane's. Well, the Germans own the rights to this being sold in Europe, and um, Frank Zane, or FZ, um, owns the rights in America. He, unfortunately, is no longer producing it, so we get messages all the time, people wanting to buy it from America and pay whichever, which I always say no, because it's the wrong thing to do. But I did have a conversation with Frank, I reckon, maybe 18 months, two years ago now, where I knew they had stopped production and I tried a collaboration, so teeing up uh, Frank and ATX as to whether we could get this product back in the States. Unfortunately, nothing has come from it, but you, you never know in the future. Um, so yeah, that's the circumstance with that one, but that's one of my peeves, but from anyone buying this and it doesn't make any odds to them unless you're in America and then unfortunately you can't buy one at the moment but hopefully that will change in the future. So I guess for gyms evaluating this machine if you already have all the traditional leg machines it's a great way to add another one that doesn't take up a massive amount of space for home users this could be a great machine if you don't have the the space for a leg press um, it doesn't take up much space and you know, it's relatively affordable. Or if you've got a massive shed, you can add, it, add that as well, because as I say, it's not gonna take up much space and, and leg machines, uh, there's far more variety for upper body movement. So if you wanna train your legs with the same sort of variety, this might be a machine for you.